Have you ever stopped to think about what the world looks like through your dog's eyes? We've all heard the old tale that dogs see in black and white, but recent research has proven that's not quite accurate. Still, our furry companions do see colors and movements in a way that's very different from us. In today's video, we're diving into the unique world of canine vision. You'll discover how understanding their visual perspective can help you bond more closely with your dog. Plus, we'll explore whether your pup might have any genetic vision issues you should be aware of. But let's start by asking, how much do dogs actually depend on their vision? Many would argue that dogs experience the world primarily through their noses, given their extraordinary sense of smell. Imagine being able to detect a teaspoon of sugar in a million gallons of water. That's roughly the size of two Olympic-sized swimming pools. This incredible olfactory ability makes their sense of smell their primary tool for navigating the world. Next up on their sensory superpower list is their remarkable hearing. Dogs can pick up frequencies as high as 65,000 hertz, far beyond our hearing range. This means they can detect sounds like the faint rustle of a mouse in the grass or even the softest footsteps from a great distance. It's no wonder they often react to things we can't even perceive. So while vision plays a role in their perception, it's just one piece of the puzzle in the complex sensory world of our canine companions. And what about their vision? How much do our furry friends really rely on it? And how does it compare to human vision? Interestingly, dogs and humans share some similarities in their eye anatomy. The position of their eyes and the relative size of their eyes to their heads are quite comparable to ours. This makes their visual system more like ours than that of horses, birds, or insects. However, there are some intriguing differences in how dogs see the world compared to us. What colors can dogs see? Let's clear this up once and for all. What colors can dogs really see? In general, the eyes contain two types of light receptors, cones and rods. Humans have three types of cone cells, each tuned to different wavelengths of light, red, blue, and green. This trichromatic vision lets us enjoy a wide spectrum of colors, painting our world with vibrant hues. Dogs, however, have only two types of cone cells. This dichromatic vision means they don't see the world in the same vivid colors we do. For instance, the lush variety of greens in the grass goes unnoticed, and that bright red ball you toss for them. It probably looks more like a dull brown or gray. Interestingly, many dog toys and accessories are made in colors like green, red, pink, and purple, which dogs can't really distinguish. These items are designed to appeal to us, not our canine companions. So the next time you're picking out a toy, keep in mind that your dog might not see it the same way you do. So what colors can our furry friends actually see? Surprisingly, recent studies have shown that dogs perceive blue and yellow quite well. This means that when you're picking out toys or accessories for your pup, opting for shades of blue or yellow will make these items more noticeable and engaging for them. From a canine perspective, these colors stand out and can make playtime more exciting. While dogs don't see a rainbow of colors like we do, they have a unique ability to differentiate certain shades. In an interesting study, researchers presented dogs with three light panels, two of the same color and one different. By training the dogs to choose the panel with the different color and rewarding them with treats, the researchers discovered that dogs can reliably distinguish between different shades. For example, a light yellow object won't be confused with a dark yellow one. This finding highlights the nuanced way dogs perceive their world, even within their more limited color spectrum. Unlike cone cells, which are responsible for color vision, rods are much more abundant in dogs' eyes compared to ours. This higher concentration of rods gives dogs an exceptional ability to distinguish various shades of gray. In a fascinating study, researchers tested this by displaying images on screens with gradually shifting shades of gray. Dogs were able to pick out even the subtlest variations in these shades, similar to how we can recognize a friend in a dimly lit room. This enhanced gray vision allows dogs to navigate their environment effectively, especially in low light conditions. Here's a fun tip for your indoor games. When playing hide and seek with your dog, try hiding in a spot with various shades of gray, like near a gray sofa or on a patterned carpet. It'll give your dog a delightful challenge to use their superior gray detection skills to find you. And here's something else to keep in mind. Dog's grayscale vision is particularly useful in low light situations, such as during dawn or dusk. This makes them fantastic companions for nighttime strolls. The secret behind this ability is a special layer in their eyes called the tapetum lucidum. This layer acts like a mirror, 
reflecting light back through the retina, which enhances their night vision. Ever notice those bright, glowing eyes in your nighttime photos? That's the tapetum lucidum doing its job. Visual acuity in dogs. When we talk about visual acuity or the sharpness of vision, dogs actually have only about 20% of the clarity that humans have. To put this into perspective, if a human can clearly read letters on a vision chart from 20 feet away, a dog would need to be just four feet away to see those same letters with the same level of detail. This means that what we see sharply, dogs see in a much blurrier way, like looking through a lens that's not quite in focus. So why does this happen? It's all about survival. Over the years, dogs' vision has adapted to be incredibly efficient at spotting movement and navigating in low-light conditions, rather than focusing on fine details. This adaptation helped their ancestors hunt and avoid danger. For example, if your dog doesn't recognize you right away from a distance, it's not because they're ignoring you. They might simply need to get closer to see you clearly. Their vision is designed more for detecting motion and less for distinguishing fine details. Dog's ability to detect movement. Now, let's dive into one of the most remarkable aspects of canine vision, their ability to detect movement. Scientists have conducted experiments to explore how well dogs can distinguish between objects at various distances, and the findings are fascinating. It turns out that dogs are exceptionally skilled at noticing moving objects, often with greater ease than static ones, especially when they're at a particular distance. This remarkable ability to detect movement is rooted in their evolutionary history as hunters. In the wild, being able to spot and track even the slightest motion of prey was crucial for their survival. It's this ancient instinct that makes them so adept at picking up on movement today. So if you see your dog suddenly darting off after something, it could be that they've detected a small animal, like a rat, that might have slipped past our human eyes. Their keen sense of motion allows them to notice details that are easily missed by us. So how can we use this fascinating insight to strengthen our bond with our dogs? When it comes to playtime or training, leveraging their keen sense of movement can make a big difference. Try incorporating large, moving toys into your games. These are far more likely to capture your dog's attention than smaller or static toys. Additionally, opt for toys that move unpredictably. This approach taps into your dog's natural hunting instincts, keeping them actively engaged and excited. By providing playthings that mimic the movement of real prey, you'll not only enrich their playtime experience but also enhance your connection with them. It's a win-win. They get to indulge in their instinctive behaviors, and you get to enjoy a more interactive and fulfilling relationship with your furry friend. Did you know that the quality of dog's vision can vary quite a bit between different breeds? It's a fascinating aspect that doesn't always get the attention it deserves. For instance, breeds like the Greyhound and Siberian Husky, celebrated for their speed and stamina, typically have exceptional long-distance vision. This trait was crucial for their historical roles in hunting and sledding, where the ability to spot distant objects was vital. Take the Border Collie, for example. This breed boasts remarkable visual acuity, particularly when it comes to tracking and herding moving animals. Their keen eyesight is essential for their work in managing livestock. Likewise, Labradors and Golden Retrievers, known for their roles in hunting and as service dogs, also display impressive long-distance vision, making them well-suited for tasks that require spotting things from afar. On the flip side, breeds like Pugs and Bulldogs, with their shorter snouts and more forward-facing eyes, tend to have a broader field of vision up close. However, they're also more susceptible to myopia, or nearsightedness. While the exact reasons for this predisposition aren't fully understood, it's thought to be linked to the specific tasks and environments these breeds were originally developed for. For example, German Shepherds, renowned for their work in police and military roles, strike a remarkable balance between long and short distance vision. Their eyes are adept at tracking fast-moving objects, which is essential for high-stakes situations such as search and rescue or tactical operations. Similarly, Rottweilers, historically bred as guard dogs, are tuned for close-range vision to detect potential threats or changes in their immediate surroundings. Their visual acuity is finely tuned to monitor and react to nearby disturbances, making them effective at their roles as protectors and alert companions. So what's the secret for dog owners? If your furry friend belongs to a breed prone to myopia, like pugs or bulldogs, it's crucial to ensure their play areas are well lit and that the toys are large and positioned close enough for them to see clearly. 
On the other hand, for breeds with excellent long-distance vision, like German Shepherds or Greyhounds, you should focus on activities that involve locating or retrieving objects from a distance. This tailored approach not only enhances your dog's playtime experience, but also helps in strengthening your bond and keeping them mentally and physically stimulated. And that's a wrap for this video. We hope you've enjoyed diving into the fascinating world of canine vision with us. What do you think about how our furry friends see the world? Share your thoughts, experiences, and any stories about your own dogs in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.